Do you know why you're here today? No. Mr. Huff, do you know your identity? Who you truly are? Yeah, uh, I'm Muslim. Ah. Mr. Huck, you're actually here today because we have concluded that you don't know who you are. But I just said I was Muslim. We're here to help you with that problem. We are going to do a series of exercises in this room, at the end of which, hopefully, you'll be able to be true to who you are, sincere to who you are, ready to re-enter us, ready to re-enter society. Welcome, Mr. Huck, to your first day of re-education. This is Aisha Muhammad Zai. Married off as a teenager at the age of 14, she suffers brutal beatings for four years, escapes at 18, gets caught, her nose is cut off as punishment. And this is a hard rule. Married off practically as a sex slave in her young teens to a 30-year-old man, the man and his family brutally torture Sahar, pulling out her hair, ripping out flesh with pliers, sticking hot irons in her stop, stop, ears stop, stop, and between her legs, stop. tearing out her fingernails. Stop. When they interrogated the family in court, they said they did this because they paid good money for a girl who wouldn't bear them any children. Don't look away now. See, this is the sincere truth about being a Muslim. What does this have to do with me? What does it have to do with you? The man who cut off Aisha's nose is your brother. And the woman who tore out Sahar's fingernails is your sister. I'm not like them. I, I wouldn't do that. I can't do that. How do you prove you're different? They're Muslim. You're Muslim. They're medieval. They're backwards. I, I can't be like them. I'm not like them. I think we're a bit closer to finding your sincere self. So this is today's task. Mr. Huff, we're going to play a game of Jenga. August 25th, 2003. Twin car bombings in Mumbai, Islamist terrorists, 54 killed, 200 injured. 2014, Peshawar school attacks, 132 children killed. December 2014, ISIS executes 150 women in Al Anbar province. April 15th, 2013. Boston Marathon bombings. Three dead, 182 injured. Every drop of blood was spilled by a Muslim. Now you take a block, Mr. Huck. I'm not like them. I'm not like them. I'm not, I'm not like them. I'm not like them. I, I'm not like them. I'm not like them. I'm not like them. September 11th, 2001. Two airplanes crash into the World Trade Center. Nearly 3,000 dead. Mr. Huck, prove to us that you're different. What do you see in the picture? Two dead Muslim children, and what's most likely their mother, mm. probably killed by Israeli soldiers. Mr. Huck, now I'm going to grant you true vision. Now, what do you see? 
I see two dead, innocent, Rosden children. Ah! Ah! Look again, Mr. Huck. You are blind. And now you have sight. So what do you see? I see two dead children who were in... Who were in this... Who were in this... Terrorist spawn who deserved to die because if they... If they did it, they would have blown themselves up anyway. Is this what you wanted? Is this what clear version looks like? Yes. You're almost there. Your final task, Mr. Hawk, is to apologize for everything you've done. How many times? One. One time for every crime your people have committed. Sometimes, Mr. Huck, we have to throw away our old selves before we can find new ones. I'm done. There's a mistake on the last one. There are no mistakes. Then who are you? I am Muslim. And there's nothing more than that. Then do you join the ranks of these oppressors? Do you accept them as your brothers and your sisters? Are you approving of what they've done? I joined the ranks of my Prophet Muhammad and his companions. That is the sincere truth. Write it again. No. Write it again. No. Write it again! Have you no shame for what you've done? No sorrow for the blood you've spilled? Are you insane? What do you think you're doing? Rejecting your legacy of terror, of blood, of crime, of killing? Stop! Stop! What do you think you're doing? Are you out of your mind? We'll ruin you! We'll ruin you! 